Hello guys, my name is Armin. Today I want to show you three methods that you can scale every single sheet that get thrown at you. Let's jump to the blue beam together so I can show you how you can scale every single sheet. We have three ways to scale drawings. One of them using the scale, the next one using a dimension on the drawing, and the third one just basically using the scale under the sheets. So when you look at the sheets, you're basically looking at the bottom right it says scale not set so that's tell this annotation tells me that this drawing has not been scaled it's a very easy process you can go to calibrate and then okay we'll basically do the scale real quick and go to custom and basically we're telling blue beam that this is the size because we know it's going to be 30 feet so we can apply the scale so right now, this is going to show up at the bottom, which shows we are scaled. And you can double check. I can do this with the drawing and basically it gives me 30 feet for the scale. So this is a very easy way to use the scale on the drawing to scale a sheet. Two notes here. First, we check it's not scaled, but we have two different scales, right? So the first one applies to the whole sheet. And then this, uh, the smaller one only applies to that detail. So if you scale one to 20, you basically get it for the whole sheet and it's not gonna apply to this. But if you wanna get the dimension off of this detail, you need to use this one. And you can use some presets. So if you look at the left hand side, if I click on preset and then use this drop down, there is some already predefined um, scales for us to use. So you don't even have to go through um, the process. So right now, if I wanna use um, one to uh, basically right here one inch to 10 feet right now as soon as I select that it basically right here shows that my drawing has been scaled to this detail so it's not gonna apply it to the whole sheet so if I'm done with this detail I want to go back and work on the whole sheet I can easily go over there and select 1 to 20 it's gonna define it we're not gonna use this one here and we only apply these to the sheet so this is a very quick way to use the presets in blue beam to go back and forth when you have a few details on one sheet and then you have a big sheet and then they have a different scale this is a very good way to go back and forth real quick instead of just caliber you can kind of go back and forth using the preset um, to uh, scale the sheet so the last way to scale a drawing is just use dimension so if you couldn't find any scale on the sheets um, you cannot use the preset because you don't know what that scale would be. Just find a dimension under drawing. So right here, I found a dimension under drawing. I go to our uh, measurement tab, same thing. So calibrate, okay. And I kind of try to get it as close as possible to like 18 feet and one inches. So I just here put 18 feet and one inches and you should kind of apply so right now i can check over there it should be kind of close to what i was trying to kind of get so right now i know that scaled um so this is kind of the easy way to scale the drawing if you can like if you cannot find any scale on the sheet and also you you know wouldn't um, know how to use the preset because there is no um, scale um, one quick tip is you have thousands of sheets and you might ask, okay, I scale some of the drawings. So when I go through them, then I don't know how to find that sheet that is scaled. So that is a, a easy way to do. Um, I've already covered this in the previous video. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can go and uh, take a look at it. Uh, but when you go to the thumbnails, uh, there is a label drop down. So if I click on that one, there is one option that it says page scale. So if I, if I check that one, it easily is going to tell me, I can do a quick check. I can see, okay, this one is scaled, this one is scaled, and the other ones are not. So it's a very quick way to see what sheets you were working on, and you scale them, and you don't have to go back and forth and just find them.
Thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm hoping that I was able to show you a few tips and tricks on how to deal with the sheet that you get that they don't have any dimensions. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button and leave a like, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.